Yo, let's go and welcome to the video. Today we are going to talk about haste and how haste rating interacts with bloodlust, nature's grace, and things like that. And then answer the question I've been seeing a lot of people ask, are there breakpoints with haste? The answer is yes, there are tons. It just depends on what you are looking for. So right now I only have one piece of haste gear, bracers of nimble thought. So on our character screen we have haste rating 28 and it shows 1% haste. I wish it was more like the crit chance and it showed decimal because this is really almost 2%. So how do we figure out based on our haste rating the actual percentage? We take our 28 divided by 1577. So really it's you move the decimal over two spots and so we've got 1.7 round up 8%. Haste. So then on Quag's eye, it says your harmful spells have a chance to increase your spell haste rating by 320 for 6 seconds. So we can use that to figure out what our cast time would be with our haste rating and Quag's eye proc. So we take our 320 at our 28. We've now got 348. Divide that by 1577. So total haste wise, we have just over 22%. Now, how is that going to affect our cast? We would need to add one. And then I uh, copy paste and start with our casting time of three seconds and divide it by that new number. So with 28 haste and quag's eye proc, we are looking at a 2.46 second cast and we can test that and verify. So right now, if we hover over, we have 2.95 seconds. Once we get our quag's eye procced, we can hover over and our new cast is confirmed 2.46 seconds. Now let's say we got a bloodlust. You would take this number here and then simply divide it by 1.3. So if we had 28 haste, quag's eye proc, and bloodlust, our star fires would be casting at 1.89 seconds. So that formula would look like this. We take our casting time of three seconds. We would be dividing that by one plus 348 divided by 1577, which is exactly what we just did, but you can change this number here based on your personal haste rating. If you don't want to include Quag's Eye or anything like that, change this number here. And once we've done all of that, if we want to include the bloodlust, then we divide all of that by 1.3. Now let's say we got a Nature's Grace proc. We change this 3 here down to a 2.5 instead. So Nature's Grace takes off the 0.5 seconds like the tooltip suggests, but it's right here in the equation. It's not after the haste is calculated. So you might see if you have 10% haste and then you get a nature's grace proc, when you hover over your tooltip for Starfire, it's gonna show. When you first hover over Starfire with just your 10% haste, it should show a 2.73 second cast time. But then when you add in the nature's grace, it goes down to 2.27, which is a 0.46 second cast time reduction. So that confused me at first. I don't know why it wasn't 0.5 seconds, but it's because when it's calculated, it's off the base cast time for the 0.5 seconds. But then when you calculate your lust, it's always after the, the haste, all your haste has been included. Once you have 237 haste during your bloodlust, you are GCD capped. So anything over 237. So if Quag's eye procs during lust, your moon fire is capped at one second. So haste isn't giving your instant cast any additional value after that 237. But Starfire will continue at least up to 50%. I think it's all the way up to like 75% or so. So on to haste cap. This is going to depend on if you have the tier 6 four piece or the tier 5 four piece. Then it's going to depend on what are you looking to do with your haste. Are you looking to have more starfire cast just in your bloodlust while well, you have an unused trinket so 20 seconds are you trying to get an extra starfire cast in that window during your destro pot of 15 seconds you know, during drums that's 30 seconds just for your quag's eye for six seconds so i have this in my discord if you're interested to kind of get an idea if you've made a, a set for this phase or a sunwell phase and you see that you have around 20% haste, you can look, see you're going to have a two and a half second cast time, 1.92 during lust. Then you can take your cast times. And if you're really bored and a nerd like me, 
you can make something like this that's got like 40 second window it's got your fairy fire your moon fires your star fires your cast times and then you can see okay with zero percent haste and tier five four piece you know what your rotation is going to look like this is without any nature's grace procs by the way this is like the worst case scenario the least amount of cast that you're going to get in that 40 seconds but if you wanted to start here and then say okay i've got a 40 percent Starfire crit chance, then you can add in different nature's grace times for Starfire. But that's what you're going to have to do to try to find whatever breakpoint it is that you're interested in looking for. So I was messing around with the phase three bis that I had come up with that's tier five four piece with 215 haste, and I included bloodlust in my cast times. And I was really looking at, you know, how many Starfires would I get in a Destro Pot window? And would any more haste? allow me an extra star fire or things like that and i even took the destro pot and moved it back so that i was only casting one moon fire during it instead of popping it and then moon firing star fire and then moon fire again at the end and you're going to get different results sometimes it will be better to have two moon fires because after you re-up Moonfire, you're not going to have enough cast time left on your Destro Pot to get an additional Starfire in. But I came up with, for this, there were no Nature's Grace procs included in this. So if nothing crit, I would have two Moonfires and six Starfires with five of them having the Tier 5 bonus. Now there's not enough time after this Moonfire for the first Starfire to land before the Destro Pot ends. So I took the whole rotation that I've came up with there and figured out I would need more than 1.2 seconds off of Starfire in order to gain one extra Starfire during the Destro window. And since it's 0.34 seconds faster Starfire with the Nature's Grace, I would need four Nature's Grace Starfires to squeeze an extra Starfire in and get seven Starfires in that one Moonfire during Destro Pot. Then possibly one extra after reapplying Moonfire. This is just one example of many trying to find different breakpoints. But you can use this formula to try to come up with breakpoints of your own. So I hope this helps as we continue to get more haste gear. And if you do find a breakpoint you'd like to share, comment it down below.